Welcome in. It's Friday, May 17th, 2024. This is Melissa Hart with What's on the Agenda, the headlines of Dairy Agenda Today. You can listen to this on Spotify or on Apple Podcasts or on our Dairy Agenda Today YouTube channel. Dairy Hoof Health Workshop tackles lameness challenges. The professional dairy producers are putting on a webinar designed to help you with foot bath techniques, chronic lameness solutions, and continuous improvement strategies for your herd. Check all the details out in the news feed on the homepage. A study reveals some reasons why some Americans lack adequate dairy nutrition and offers a roadmap to better diet quality. Well, I know the roadmap. Drink more milk. (laughs) Many Americans recognize dairy as a cornerstone of a healthy diet, but continue to fall short of recommended daily intake as endorsed by the Dietary Guidelines for Americans. An in-depth consumer survey released recently by the International Food Information Council and supported by the International Dairy Food Association and the National Milk Producers Federation explores barriers to dairy nutrition among Americans and how to remove them. You can find out more about that study in the news feed on the homepage. The National Milk Producers Federation has awarded some grants to advance dairy industry disease preparedness just in time. And we put our hands together for Don Bennick of North Florida Holsteins, who has received the National Dairy Shrine Distinguished Dairy Cattle Breeder Award. He will be honored this fall, September 30th, in Madison, Wisconsin, during World Dairy Expo. His portrait will then be displayed at the National Dairy Shrine's Dairy Hall of Fame and Museum in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Read all about the wonderful work that Don Bennick has done and just a great guy all around in the newsfeed on the homepage. And congratulations, Don. Well deserved. Now, let's check out some market news in Class 3 trade at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, according to Bar Chart. May Class 3 milk was up 3 cents at 1873. June was up 27 cents at 2112. July was up 32 cents at 2050. August was up 30 cents at 2009. September was up 5 cents at 1987. Cash cheese blocks were down 2 and 3 quarters at 190. Barrels were up 6 cents at 212. Butter was unchanged at 305 and a half. And grade A nonfat dry milk was up a half a cent at 116 and a half. Cash corn was down 4 cents at 471. Cash soybeans were up 3 cents at 1189. And cash soybean meal was unchanged at 469.30. Next week, it's the Missouri Heifer Tag Sale. It starts on the 22nd and ends on the 24th. There is no online bidding. You'll have to contact one of the sales reps to get your bid in on this fantastic offering of heifers. It all happens in conjunction with their Missouri Heifer Cow Camp, and it's at the Lawrence County Fairgrounds. The catalog is online. Check it out when you click on their link in the featured sales list or on their banner ad. Also happening on the 24th is the Butler View Farm Memorial Day Extravaganza. Again, the sale is on the 24th. It's a Memorial Day weekend, but I always have to make sure you know that it's on Friday, not the actual weekend. So if you commit to go to the sale, you're only committing Friday or Thursday and Friday. Anyway, Cow Buyer will be providing online bidding. The catalog is online. Check it out when you click on their link in the featured sales list or on their banner ad. The Tremelda Milking Herd Dispersal will happen on May 30th in Montezuma, Georgia. That catalog is coming soon. Cow Buyer will be providing online bidding. Hill Rose Holstings is on June 7th, and the built to last at Brignine Sale is on the 8th. That catalog is online. Cow Buyer is providing online bidding. Make sure you see all of the information in that featured sales list on the right side of the homepage. This weekend, we will be ringside in Monroe, Wisconsin for the Midwest Spring Quality Color Show. Ayrshire's, Brown Swiss, Guernsey's, and Milking Shorthorns will all show on Saturday. It's a one-day show this year. Usually it was two days, but now they've narrowed it down to one. It all happens in Monroe, Wisconsin, and we want to thank those show coverage sponsors for making it possible for us to be the official photographers. Our Brown Swiss show coverage is sponsored by Cruzy's Swiss Farm. Our Guernsey show coverage is sponsored by Cadence Farm and RK Genetics. Our Milking Shorthorn show coverage is sponsored by Our Way Cattle Company and the Holthouse family. And our Ayrshire coverage is sponsored by Metterthees Dairy of Lawler, Iowa. Thanks to all of them for their sponsorship of our show coverage of the Midwest Spring Quality Colors show tomorrow in Monroe, Wisconsin. You can follow along with all of the results of the show tomorrow in the newsfeed on the homepage. Now in the Just for Fun department, today is National Endangered Species Day, World Telecommunications Day, National Mushroom Hunting Day, National Pack Rat Day, 
Got a lot of those. Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Day. Work From Home Day. Walnut Day. Shades Day. As in sunglasses. Hypertension Day. World Virtual Assistance Day. National NASCAR Day. There you go. Bike to Work Day. If you've got it in you, go ahead. (laughs) On this day in history, the FBI laboratory weighs in on the dirty lyrics of Louie Louie. 1965, the final episode of Beverly Hills 90210 airs in the year 2000. I know there's a lot of you that like that show. That LAPD raid leaves six SLA members dead in 1974. In 1973, they televised the Watergate hearings. And in 1943, the Memphis Bell flies its 25th bombing mission. And of course, one more thing that we're going to celebrate today cherry cobbler day yeah let's celebrate it i'm all about any kind of cobbler just like pie i've never met a cobbler i didn't like that's what's happening on this friday may 17th 2024 this is melissa hart with what's on the agenda the headlines of dairy agenda today you can listen to this on spotify or on apple podcast or on our dairy agenda today youtube channel i hope you have a great day and an even better weekend and we'll be right back here on monday 